Hello everybody. Um gonna start now. As usual, if you have any questions, just type them in the chat and I will try to answer them as good as I can and as soon as I can. Um, today we are working on the image that you see in the on the screen right now. Um, <clears throat> I first, as usual, go a bit into Cinema 4D. Um, which is um, so for this scene, oh no, let's maybe first switch to the process a bit because um, that's what I want to show this time. That first I started with like a building like this, but when I actually thought like it looked really nice, I like this basic setup of it. But when I looked at it the second day, I thought it's like not really nice and I didn't like it at all. So, um, also, I think now that I look at it, um, that for example, the, this part up here was way too bright and not really like nice. So, this doesn't look very good. Um, what I didn't like was then this oversized like thing sticking out so um, I thought like okay I'm getting rid of that and I also thought maybe this the whole thing is like not really attractive it's just too simple for what we are going to do so um, the next day I thought okay it would actually be nice to have something like a bit more like the mountains like in this valley adding another hill to the to the valley so to say and also adding a bit more uh, structure to the whole thing like that's when I added the wooden part like this wooden structure here so that it's not looking like I just uh, modeled it in whatever like I mean I, I didn't model it like in one minute but like that it looks a bit more like at least the project you can get so yeah um, people ask for winter things so I thought like maybe we can do something like a cross-country slope or whatever's gonna happen in the foreground will be like winter related this could be like an arena for uh, yeah, was cross country skiing events and stuff like this. Um, I also thought like before I haven't added too much in. I had the lamps and people around, and in the background you can see like a kind of a carport, um, which is still here on this image too. But then um, I was showing this image to some people and they said like, okay, the last time we also did like a totally centered perspective. So it's pretty much getting the same thing again, like looking at the same thing. Um, I also made this uh, light setup, which uh, basically is close to what I did last week with the, with the water in, waterfront image. So. Then I thought, okay, it's true. Like if I show every, if I do like similar stuff each week, it might also get boring. So that's why I also talk a bit more about the process. Um, after I decided not to go with one of, or like with a center perspective, like looking or standing like directly centered in front of the building, having like also like a similar foreground like a lot of foreground the building is totally centered there mm, I thought like what would actually be nice what could give like oh yeah here you see I just took out for this test I just took out the mountains because um, this was just after I set the perspective to be like something like having like this shape there having like this part really bright so that the building comes, uh, gets a bit more focus and then just like the shadowy lines in front or like this also a lot of foreground in the front but still like uh, I set it up differently having like perspective keeping this in the, the 
uh, how do you say the stands in the shadow um but also like having like this nice uh how do you call it like curve here so that's why i then decided for this perspective mm, i think it just goes like uh, um so if you have the thirds, it's just like in the thirds here, and then totally, I think that somewhere here is like the center of the image. I think so. Um, yeah. So here's the center of the image, like still looking at the thing. This third is, I think, actually a bit further here. So that's how I set up the perspective, like to get a bit more of this roof shape. Um, and that was also something that I focused on when I had this perspective. I first looked at some, uh, as we are probably based, or like I said, like this building is based in the Alps somewhere. I looked at some different tones of light or light setups you usually would get in the Alps or like in mountain areas. So I just Googled like, Sunset Alps, uh, Daylight Alps, so just that's actually quite nice if you want to get like references for um, colors. These are just images that I copied over from Google, I don't even know who took them, I don't have the references, but I, see if I should find them if you search for Alps and Sunset and Daylight. And, yeah. So this just gave me like some setups like here. Uh, the first one is already like a bit going into like the sunset, like blue hour, like what I saw here is like that the white usually is gray, red, yellowish in these setups. This could be relevant later in the process, but then I just took like always like three colors out so that I have some references actually. And here we have a blue hour, which could also be nice. Um, but then I also thought, like, okay, what when you are in the in in the Alps, um, you often see like these mountain tops, like really glowing in golden or like um, red tones. So I thought, like, this could be nice. So just check it for uh, some color palettes that work with this. Um, also, like here, you can see it's more like these warm tones, like red, uh, orange, uh, but with like um dark sea and blues like more in the green uh, blue and then you have also like this really like grayish blues which i also like and that's when i did this like setups like um those uh last ones actually were done in i would say like 10 minutes just testing around with um i think none of this is an hdr i just used the octane sky to change the height of the sun change also a bit the color of the sun especially in those like in this uh, sunset things like you see here in this image um i went more for like this grayish no i uh, sorry in this i went more for this blue um blue uh, violet magenta not totally magenta but bluish magenta thing for the sky and then having like um more yellow um colors in 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 the sun like i actually like this color tone really a lot in the rendering um but then i also thought like okay these images could also be really nice so i tried out like uh, more uh, red sun with a more gray um, gray uh, sky so yeah and this is basically those two are the same light setup here it's just like a bit more less sky turbidity so it's uh, the sun's coming through a bit more so it's basically like not that diffuse as in the shadows are a bit sharper but it's basically the same light in the two images um and then in the the last thing i tried again was like a sunlight with some foreground shadows which i also liked but in the end i 
thought like, okay, I, I really wanted to do this image, um, which I also rendered, um, but then I thought, I, I think the building comes out best in like something like this or the last one where um, the roof and the, this shape of the roof has like this contrast between the bright part and the dark part. So um, I rendered, I think, like a sun setup similar to this and this, but today we are going to work on the left one actually. Um, yeah, so that's just a bit about the process and I think like when you have one straight idea in the beginning, like this, I had in mind I do the central perspective from the start, but then I saw that maybe it's like for the roof, like which is basically the main attraction of this building, it's not the best, best thing, so I guess it's really nice to just try those things like really quickly. I also set up some other cameras, but um, on this pers this was the first perspective where you really had like this uh, shape and then like this more straight thing here that gets lit up by, or like that has like this upper part there. Um, for the materials it's like basic wood in here. Um, I wait, maybe I can show this in Cinema 4D and also like because people ask about the snow texture um, that was actually the first thing I tried, I played around with here um, so I'm just gonna bring up the material editor here and where is the snow texture? this one so what I did is just play around with noises. So I used like actually just mix two noises together, um, and it's just like an I think it's even an, oh no it's a glossy material. Um, I mix two noises together to get a bit of like this variation of snow, um, like this small uh, snowflakes kind of thing. It's, uh, this one is a pearly noise, okay, it's five. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's actually the standard setup. What I did is just like scale it down to like a minimum, but you have to be a bit careful with this as I figured, like sometimes it makes some weird stuff. And I think this is also the same pearly noise, just a bit bigger. And then I just mixed in the two of them together, used them as a pump for the snow. Um, the same down here, it's the bigger one for the displacement, like so that I get a bit more detail in there. And then I use the small one for the specular, so that you have some parts like this really high reflective, um, small like points kind of thing that reflect the, uh, the sun. But in this image you don't really see it. So I'm gonna others yeah I, when I when I was rendering I could see that it happens in some parts maybe we see it in the big resolution later on um, yeah so basically that's it I think the index yeah, is 1.3 I played around with it a lot I tried a lot of different things actually I also checked for other snow textures some used transmission but I think if you are not like really close slow wood snow wood a beer like a plane in some actually it just has like it looks like a bit noisy and has like these bright spots where the sun hits it so that's why i just chose this setup actually which is not very advanced i guess but if you don't get like to a close-up in the snow or place some small objects in the snow that you render i think you don't have to go too much into detail for this mm. But yeah, if you want to check out textures that really may have like uh, displaced snowflake style things, you can search for that on the internet. I found a lot, but they were for my use too detailed actually. Um, for what I 
it is like here you can see some oh, let me just kind of bring this up a bit more um yeah i, I used some ca different cameras here uh, but then i just the central perspective and the one to the left and for the snow plane i again like just use the simple plane um, which i displaced then yeah so it's as you can see here i see i mean you can see a bit the uh, displaced stuff here i don't know if you can see it um but it's just a plane with a displacer on it um a noise that is stretched a bit I don't know if you can see that very well here. So that you get a get like s small bumps, like the wind would have blown the snow in one direction or something. Um, yeah. So that's you can see that on the shadow actually of the trees in the front, like that it's like not totally straight, which it would be with an um, with a planar or with like a straight plane so you just have like a bit of difference in the snow and yeah and it also helps a bit with the highlights on the, on the snow uh, then i also use this uh, mountain from outer 49 um, it's basically also a plane with subdivisions it's really nice they have the height map to displace it um, and you set it up and it's actually quite uh, nice so um yeah then this one here i just made like the roof uh, just i may just make the surface which is not really like very well shaped in the back i just wanted to look it to look good from the front uh, and then subdivided it so actually in reality you wouldn't be able to build this but I'm not doing any I didn't do any parametric stuff here to get like straight uh, line uh, straight beams or something yeah um, here this is the uh, so yeah I just made the surface uh, then offset it and uh, got like these beams out and then I placed some pillars in there. It just has a wooden texture. Um, here I just used like an, an, uh, an Eames chair uh, top and then just uh, cloned it on, the ra on some splines that I took from the stairs here. Uh, I also for this material I used uh, a random uh, random node so that some chairs like the chairs have all the same color but they get uh, brighter and darker so you get a bit of variation which you don't see that well in this image here now i mean you can see it a bit but which looks much better in the one in the central perspective because it adds a bit of like um yeah a bit of livelihood if everyone every every chair looks the same it's, it looks a bit, it can, if you want it to be like that, but I like that it has like a bit of variation in there. Mm, I can show you, it's just a basic glossy material, I think, for the chairs. Um, just trying to find it here, yeah. It's this. Mm, I'm gonna open this in the node editor again. Yeah, so, oh yeah, now I did it like, I have these two colors, which is like, this is the brighter one, this is the darker one, uh, random color just creates like different shades, which I used for the, uh, for the amount that it mixes, so you have like different grayscales, so each chair uh, mixes differently, these two colors together. So here you can see like all the colors that you get out of it. If I would get rid of those, it would just be black and white, I think. Oh no, I don't see it. Okay, um, the random color would just be black and white. So it's just mixing like, uh, it's like the amount, like if you set it from zero, I think is black and uh, one is uh, white, for example. Mm, uh, we also did this for the trees, but so they also change like a bit of the color if you scatter them and have render instances. So each tree has a different color. So you can use the same tree for a lot of things actually. Um, yeah. 
que... Um, so, yeah, I think that's it for the... for the setup of the... of the Cinema 4D files, actually. Um, So I think we can go into Photoshop now. Um, okay, so let's switch to Photoshop with the image I decided on in the end. Um, so I'm gonna close this. Yeah, so I, I just show you like, this is like the process I had and I also discussed some of the stuff with people in between, so yeah. Um, so, press that and save it. So here's the image, like I already set it up again. And what I actually did, because I wasn't sure if I, um, uh, if I want to use the background, like the trees and the mountains, I just rendered it again with an alpha, just without the background, so that we are uh, flexible to use them or don't use them. So that's just the alpha I got out from uh, from the rendering. Okay. Mm. Um. So, yeah, so yeah, I set it up again. I, ju I just put the uh, put the uh, the passes and everything in there. I have the post here, the reflection, direct reflection, indirect refraction. Uh, then I also adjusted it a bit in Arian. This is the raw file, um, just to bring out a bit the brighter parts. As I said, like I'm not sure. I, sometimes I don't want to use that, so um, I'm just going for like either turn it off immediately in the beginning or just uh, um, reduce the opacity of it. So yeah. So because here I think like it could be nice to have like this brighter part in the on the roof, but. Then in the foreground, yeah. I mean, we. I think we could mix it. Like, let's go try 50% so that it's not super bright. But um, yeah. Um, then let's check the AO and the brightness. I also track them in there. So, I mean, this process should already be known. So I guess I'm not gonna go too much into that, just use 10 here. Uh, see it have to keep out for the moment. Um, shadows could be useful later if we gonna add some something to the snow. Um, uh, yeah, and then gonna bring the refraction. I just saw that this lower part is like pretty dark where it's actually windows, so that's why I put the reflection there. I'm just gonna brush a bit over those parts where um, at least this appears. So it's like down here. Um, I just see that there's like not too much showing. Okay, I'm just gonna share the whole screen now because uh, something is not working correctly. Okay. Now you should be able to see everything that I have here. 
Um, then I'm gonna bring in like these reflections. Might be nice on on the roof, but I think we just leave them out for now. Also the direct reflections, I guess. Um, we can leave. Um, so the main thing I wanted to do here is, I guess, like try the snow. So I searched for a lot of references for snow and like or not references like i just looked at a lot of different images or downloaded a lot of different images that we could use for snow i think it could be nice to actually go for like a cross country thing in the front so something like this but or this to put that in front and have like a structure on the snow um so I think first of all we start with the foreground just get out like some uh some texture or some stuff that we can use in the foreground actually the like this slide is actually quite nice but the perspective is not that nice mm, because I'm in the image I'm quite far uh, close to the ground so um yeah. yeah, as you can see in these images, like snow, if you look at it, it's like nearly visible if you're that far away. Like if it, it only has like these small sparkles on it. So that's why on the texture, I think if you have, a, if you get closer to it, it gets relevant. But if you are like further away, it's not really necessary to, necessary to go too much into detail. So I'm just looking for some, I think the actually the first one I had, I really liked. I just have to see if that works. I think that could be nice. The sun also goes in the correct uh, direction. Um, so I'm just going to track this in for a second. We just have to see with this, I think, where it leads actually. Um, where the where the slopes gonna end up um oh, i forgot to make i'm just gonna make like the selection real quick so place it here make a new layer uh so this is like the snow foreground gonna track this in here turn off this it depends, like we have to see, it could be nice to have uh, this texture in the foreground, but it could also be nice to have like, um, uh, just like a really calm foreground too, um, perspective wise. It's, uh, because now I already, s I feel like it may be getting a bit too much if we add this here. Could be nice if it goes somewhere maybe because it's not leading the eye really well to the image actually or to the building maybe we try first we try a uh, calmer foreground um, so I'm gonna get over here what else do we have Maybe, oh, but this here you can see it's like too high. I think it won't work. Some have the idea of the of the slope in my mind, so ah, but maybe this slope could go go through somewhere here could actually work. Just gonna scale it down a bit because uh, it's not one hundred percent correct for what I use here. Um, maybe this could work. It's too small now, I think, compared to... 
to the building. It's also nice because here we have this uh, stamps with uh, like I don't know how you call it like these things pillars that also have like the same color as the as the chairs kind of and then also the wooden pillars so maybe we're gonna if we can put this stuff in there it would be nice let's see if that works somehow yeah maybe also the shape is quite nice that we get in here gonna squeeze it again a bit like this what happened I'm just trying what happens if I scale it and stuff so Yeah, maybe I will just keep it somehow like this. Having it probably go back there somewhere. Like if we have this curve, I like this curve. So we have uh, some curves in here. Also for the building. The only thing we have to do if we use this, like to see if we can <laughs> somehow um, get like this part or like so that we have probably like two slopes one going to the left one going to the right to see if we can work that out somehow i um, just gonna switch to those images over here again Maybe we're gonna use this one because it has like the edge here that we could use maybe somewhere over here. Hmm. No, this is not gonna work. I need a. I think for let's just try to first try to. Uh, brush those things away in here that we don't want. I think I want this uh, track to go to the left. And maybe we get rid of the skating slope at all. Like, let's keep it classic. Um, as I said before, we can use here right now. That's what I will do immediately. Like, put over the shadow here, and then we should get like the shadows on the background as well. And maybe we have to rework them a bit, but. Um, I'm just going to drag out this and do this differently over this new part because on the old part we already have it. Let's go to multiply, then just turn it down a bit so that it somehow matches. We also have to color match this a bit more, I guess. Um, we could do this with blues. Uh, probably also multiply should work, just turning it down a bit, or it doesn't work very well. Um, maybe you can also do this with colorize. Uh, problem is that we don't lose the white, so just gonna first turn on the the refer for the contrast the reference check maybe first do the levels a bit so I think this could uh, be a bit brighter and the dark spots could 
maybe be a bit less, like not too super dark. Um, yeah. I think the shadows maybe need some colors to here. Um, It's weird because ah, that's not correct. So um, oh yeah, no, it's working. Um, the mid tones could also be like a bit more in the blues. Uh, over here, I see it's too bright on the right part, so just gonna. Get rid of the levels there a bit. The ma I'm brushing on the mask of the levels right now. Mm. We also have to brush out these uh, these guys here. To do this now because Yeah, and what I think we need to, like, this here, like, the borders to the to the slope don't look good, so I guess we have to find some uh, images where that add, like, this small, like, you can see over here, you have, like, on the edge, you have, like, this snow clumps, or I don't know how it's actually called. Um, so, yeah, that's one thing we have to look for, I guess. Mm. So switching back to the bridge here. Just gonna go through the images again real quick. Maybe gonna open this one. Just gonna go further through it. I mean, this guy could also be nice, like if we, I want to try this now, as I saw this image, I didn't see it before. Um, maybe... So I'm gonna reset this real quick. I'm just trying now if it works. Okay, that was the problem. Uh, so we're... Bring back the sky. Um, today I think like the main focus will be um, to work on this foreground and then add some mountains in the background. So that's why it will probably take a while to get like the foreground. Right, um, he doesn't work too well here. I mean, what we could do with this guy is actually, if we want to have him in there, um, but then we just have like a really clear snowy foreground. I mean, we could try if that works better. I will just like really cut him out like really fast now. Because he would be sticking over. So if we put this guy on top here, it could be just nice if one guy, if this guy just goes through the image, like somewhere, not like this. I think I don't want him this big, but we could also have something like this somewhere here, which could also be nice. Or is it? Uh, it's always hard to figure out what's too distracting or what isn't, so yeah, that's the thing. Um, ok, 
you know, I think I will stick to, I think if we have one person in there, it maybe is going to destroy like the calmness of this image. So I guess I will just stick to this. Um, I just saw that we have here. Mm, and actually, I just saw that maybe this needs a be like even squeezed together a bit more. Because as I said before, we are pretty, we have a super low viewpoint on the uh, on the camera, so... Stretching it out a bit more like this. Moving it over a bit. Okay. I think something like, oh, now we're missing this part over here. Um, what we could check here, or what we should have in mind is like always where the lines lead in a way. I mean, this is not really leading out the eye somewhere right now, so I don't want to have too much focus on that actually. If we have, would have it somewhere over here, maybe it would lead the eye more to the center of the image. Or maybe we just use the left, the right part of it, actually. If we have this, for example, coming in, like... This could actually be really nice, maybe we just use the uh, part over here. Um, what we also could try, I figured right now, is maybe even just multi, but no, it doesn't work very well. Um, so just use this part over here to somehow guide the eye to the curve, and then we have like this curve going in a way there. Um, just getting rid of... Getting rid of this now, actually. I think this could work much better. This part over here, we can also brush away. Um, what we could do here is I think we can actually just stomp this part down to uh, continue it here. Or let's see what happens if we move this out a bit more. Yeah, this could actually be nice. Uh, could be working out quite well. Just like gonna continue this part here. Um, yeah. I think we have to be afterwards like get a bit more detail in this part over here, but now it's, I think now it's working much better than before with the lines. Just gonna brush in, I think I deleted this part. Oh shit, uh, I don't know, now Photoshop crashed, good, just gonna reopen it really quick. Ah, because I have, uh, I forgot to close down uh, cinema, so this was also like taking a lot of the graphic processor. Um, Um, okay, so now back again to this. Shouldn't take too long now.
I'm just testing now because I saw maybe. This part over here is actually quite nice, I just have, because there's also like this small grasses in there or whatever this is. Maybe it's a bit too big in the back there. Get rid of this. But here, like to add a bit of uh, texture, it could be quite nice actually. So I'm just like not brushing it totally over, but at least putting a bit of. Uh, highlights there, mm. uh, not highlights, a bit of details there. So I, will, I will get rid of this, I think we can also add this like later on quite easily. Just want to see um, what happens if we have this whole slope in here. It's actually quite nice, but maybe it's now a bit too easy. <laughs> to do this, just to use this one image for the foreground. Um, but actually this is, I really like this one because it's, it's keep, it adds some texture but it keeps the whole image like pretty calm, not making too much fuss, so, so I think like this could actually be quite nice. So I'm just like softening the edge there a bit um, but what we still have to do because I think I want to keep this composition and I can show it yeah so that's uh, you should see the thirds now so I mean we could also do something like this but I think for now I'm just trying to brush in like the foreground that's missing a stomp in the foreground that's missing we have to see if that works or if it's not working. I mean here it's actually anyway super repetitive with the um with the tracks of the skis, so I think I just have to bring back the mask in this part so that we see it. Um here with the footsteps bit more difficult I guess. I just try to see where I mean they should get a bit bigger in the front but also the lines here don't match like perfectly so I'm just going a bit more closer. Hmm. I guess this is like super hard like this wooden this we cannot really do properly. Um, let's try at least because it's making this curve and it's pretty hard to brush in the curve here so I mean I could flip it maybe uh, not flip it rotate it um Yeah, uh, let's keep this to the foreground, how it is at the moment. Um, maybe we can try to figure, or like try to make this a bit, looking a bit better later on. Um, Or I'm gonna look pretty quick at some other photos we have. Maybe we can bring in one of those, but I think that will be even harder. I think we just leave it like this. Maybe just blur it a bit in the end or see what. Because here it should be actually, I mean, if you want to be really picky with this, um, you could try to get like the right direction somehow from other parts. But this would take too long now, so I guess that doesn't make too much sense. Mm, I think I, I really like the foreground now like it is, uh, even if it's just like one foreground. 
what we could bring back in okay what we have to delete is this part over here um as you can also see like the people are scattered some of them have like shorts i thought you won't really see it in the this distance so i didn't really care um but usually you sh should take care of those things like that you don't put in people that have summer stuff on when you do a winter image which yeah it's i guess like makes total sense anyway to do to don't do this so um yeah I think now before starting to working on the building I want to bring in some um some of the of the trees I have here and create the um the backdrop and like some of the mountains. So I for the mountains I really looked like which have the I mean I didn't check check some are just references for snow and stuff or like for the slopes but uh, i already checked like there are some that have basically the correct lighting going on as you can also see here like some are bright and some are hit like on the left side by the sun and then are dark which i really what i liked r a lot right in this spot is that the uh, mountain in the back got dark and it so it also helps like with the shape here or like to get like the building a bit more up front um so i guess for this part we could just like uh just gonna flip through this real quick because i want something like a dark mountain i mean here it's like a backlit thing so that's not the best way to do it mm, but uh, there should be some mountains where the light is correct yeah, for example, those mountains, the light comes, I mean, you just have to flip it, but it comes from one side. So I'm going to bring them in, maybe for the left part, like choose this uh, darker mountain. I'm going to go to the background. Uh, oh, flipped it the wrong way. So I mean, it could also be nice to mm, have like this lighter part over here, actually. I think we want to scale it a bit down here because uh, here is like this slope that doesn't work with our building too well so um, yeah I think we have to get put another mountain over here that's like hiding the part on the right like this part over here so, so like this part I want to get rid of definitely later on um, what we can see here actually this uh, because I thought also our our sky is a bit too bright, so um, I'm going to get rid of this sky here now. But then maybe we can also go for a bit of a darker sky there. We could use this as a reference actually. Um, just make like a mask for the mountains real quick. Uh, then bring in this. And this is like where you could go back to what I showed before when we had the, you just see there's like uh, something wrong with the trees sticking in here. So I'm just gonna delete this. Um, so I think we could go back to the references or as we also have like this, um, this image of a mountain scape or like a sunlit mountain. We can also take this as a reference 
what you can see here is like that the whites are a bit more red like here in our image everything's like much more cyan at the moment so if i turn the sky uh to this like bluish dark blue thing i think i have to keep in mind that also like the foreground would probably look a bit different um so if we i'm just trying to just get this now like really fast uh, like this color theme from the this image somehow or what we could also do is just uh, to bring this in again let's flip it around we could also just scale this up actually I think and then have like kind of this uh, then you also have a bit of the noise which I mentioned before or like last time too that if you use another sky uh, or like an image as a sky that you have a bit of noise from the from the camera noise there or like the noise that the camera creates maybe actually you can use this in the background there or these because we here we don't I just have to we just have to be aware that we don't see like the bright parts um, coming in so let's just see maybe scale it a bit more I mean we can also just take this out actually uh, but then I want to bring in a bit more which we see in this image like there's some bright parts over here we could actually brush this in with uh, First, I'm just making a layer, creating like a gradient with white, I guess. Um, just going for the, I don't know, the radio gradient, I think it's called. And then just turn this down like a lot, actually, I think. So that we just have like a bit of a brighter spot somewhere over here. Um, and then I think what I saw there was like this cloud, so I'm just gonna use like a cloud brush to add up. And I also will, j I will just color big this here so it's like something that would fit to the. I'm just turning off and on, off and on the map tab here now. So. Mm. gonna go for something that's a bit wider just so there's then I think I just gonna make this a bit brighter so we get like uh, a bit of like cloudy feeling there maybe even do another layer go over it again with white somewhere here I don't know like if you live in the mountains what is really nice sometimes is actually i think i have one image here um oh sorry forgot to switch back yeah so i just uh, added some clouds in the background um so in in these uh, um in these mountain areas you sometimes i have this one image which i really like because uh, it reminded me of this you have like the snow that blows on the mountain tops uh, like when it's windy it just blows yeah like here in this part like in the middle of the image it blows just the snow into the air so maybe we can also bring some stuff like this uh, back in in the in the image here so I just it just reminded me of those things when I was brushing in here at the top like some some cloudy feelings so we could also add like some of those details here I mean not on the left the one that's too big but want to just like some more brighter spots and maybe we just use some cloud brush to do the thing that I just mentioned like have some I don't know on one of the things like a Actually, the other brush looks much better, I think. Maybe we also need to do this on top of the mountain. So, 
Um, gonna go a little bit smaller. Let's see. I'm gonna erase it a bit here. Hmm. Actually, I don't know. The other brush works much better for this. This one's not. Maybe this one's a bit too sharp. Actually. What else do we have here? making this like just adding like these small details I think to it like you don't really see them probably when you are not aware of them but I think it's still nice if they are there gonna take another brush and do some more of those This uh, this one's also a bit too sharp I think I don't know. Gonna turn it off a bit so that it's just there like really settled in the background. Um actually we could leave it like this too, but I think I want to add some some trees there to to have like a bit of um a bit of variation there so um i think what we could try really fast now is if we where we want some trees if we have like um there is some brushes that just have like kind of these tree lines i think yeah something like this so that's just a brush and I'm just gonna use like this darker part here and then I could just oh, it's not like try to see maybe it would be nice to have something here and then probably here in the back I really would like to have it even a bit darker. Here. But here, I think, like, could be something like this. And then over here, maybe some bigger trees. Yeah, I think this could work actually. Maybe we also, what we could check right now is that then we have to do another lay on top. If there could also be some stuff like a bit more in the foreground here, which could add a bit of depth, depth actually maybe also something coming in here we have to see that later on I'm just like th those things you can check out really fast with brushes like this actually um but first i want to color grade down the rendering a bit because it's like as a uh not down but color grade the rendering a bit because as i said it's like it was a bit too um the highlights should be I'm gonna bring up this image we have there on top for the for the mountains. Um just gonna bring this up to top and scale it down so that we have a reference for for the oh actually could you just use it like this? Um so we have a reference for the for the snow in the foreground. Um this is now a bit of an, not an issue but we have to be aware because I already made the snow no it's also in there so we can just do the color grading in here actually um, so go to the I think it the fastest way is to just turn these highlights a bit to like red and yeah so now we see we get a bit more into the colors of the of the of the of the image on top um, we just have to see that it doesn't change the in too much actually I'm gonna delete the layer mask I'm just gonna make this smaller so that we also see like the parts in the in the background um, so yeah just gonna 
gonna maybe let's see if this talk to now with it's gonna get rid of this one. Um so for the highlights we already adjusted it a bit to get it more yellow ready red. Um and I think the mid tones have also to get a bit more blue but not too much actually maybe just like keep leave the blue like it is and make the cyan's like rusty or something so that the shadows don't are like totally like cyan cyan shadows maybe we add just one to the shadows um let's see how this looks just gonna turn off this here could be okay I'm just going to check I think the foreground maybe a bit too oh I know I just adjusted that's why I was wondering why the building is not changing too much actually because I had it in the uh, in the layer for the foreground uh, for the snow yeah for the foreground um so this yeah this looks much better now I think like as you can see before it was too soon. Actually, it's also nice that the part on the roof now got a bit wider. We could maybe move up the mountain a little bit uh, so that this darker part. I'm just looking at this uh, dark spot here. Hmm, okay, then we have to do the mask. Adjust the mask a bit. Uh, let's make this here. Um yeah, now I just bring in some trees. I'm not sure if I want to because I, I also looked for some trees here, but I think it probably is going to take too long or maybe yeah, maybe this image here could work. So just gonna bring this into Photoshop because here I can select the, the sky quite easily I guess um, just gonna do the color range turn it up a bit not too much I think we don't need a super perfect mask here actually um, the only problem is this part over here I'm just gonna copy this over now just gonna drag it over, drag it over. Top. Um, what happens here now? This one we can delete. I don't know what's happening now. It broke something while I dragged this over, I guess. So I'll just do this again. Drag it in here. Okay. I mean here what we have to look here is again like that we don't have uh, the trees uh, destroying the darkness of the background so I'm gonna try to bring like the darker trees over here where we had the where there's the darker spot I'm just seeing okay actually no I don't really <laughs> even have to adjust those things um, this mask has to be adjusted a bit on top that was what we also saw before just gonna brush away the edge here um, I think yeah, I'm just gonna copy this one here um, just gonna maybe hide this part I think like here we don't really want the trees stick or maybe over here we could have some trees sticking out could be quite nice or maybe yeah, let's get rid of this over here totally I'm mm, gonna bring in this other layer we definitely want some more trees over here just have to see maybe we can also here maybe bring a bit of the snow in so that it's like adds a little bit of like an whatever like a small hill back there I 
and then we just have to see where we end with the trees here. Um, just gonna brush like really quickly over, or maybe even it's better even here. It's even better here. Just gonna delete this from the mask and then bring back the brush. Maybe we even have it select. Oh yeah, still have it selected because then I can just easily like brush in like this uh, parts over here. And we also with this we also hide like the stuff I was talking about before. Um, I don't know if this is. Oh yeah, this is part in the tree. So what I'm gonna do here now is like invert the brush and just do the same thing over here. Uh, I've inverted it again and just gonna make this too much. Hmm. We could also, like here, we can also probably just uh, stomp this up so that the bright parts disappear and just stomp in like the tree to the left um, yeah I think this could actually I don't have to adjust them too much they fit in already quite well I just want to have probably or no I just I want not probably I want to have some more of those back there somewhere um, I just have to see, like, you uh, you always have to, if you do stuff like this, I guess you always have to check um, that it don't looks like repetitive, so maybe I'm just gonna scale them a bit like this, maybe even make them a bit higher, and I guess I just take out uh, a bit of the blacks here, um, I like make them just a bit, a little bit brighter. Yeah, this could actually already be quite a nice image. Um, I don't even know if I want to do much more to it. It looks like what I really like about it is like the super. It's like you rarely see people, like there's nothing really going on. But you have like these curves and like the landscape. So that was that's what makes it really, really uh, calm. I sometimes like images if they are not too, um, I mean if there's not too much going on, but at least like you know, there are a lot of, at now we have already a lot of details actually. I just saw that in the background the clouds over here are just repeating itself a bit too much, so I'm just gonna brush those out a bit. Mm. Yeah. Ah, yeah, maybe we, I will check now for, just really quick, for, um, for one, one tree or something that we could put in, in the front there and see if that works or if it doesn't work. Um, just gonna check, uh, really quick in, in bridge, um, for the trees we brushed in before like the one in the four on the like this one's over here if we need something to put in here like this part here i don't know if it would be too much or if it won't oh and uh, yeah i also brushed out this guy i cut it out this guy before somewhere maybe we could just bring in him like or it um let's see Maybe this could go somewhere there in the background. Let's see where actually, like if this slope, actually it's not continuing because I think it's too far in there, like already on the horizon, but yeah, maybe this guy could be quite nice there. like the things here and then looks like this I 
I don't know if you, yeah, it, it's okay. I mean, like, it's like always these decisions you have to make. Kind of, I'm just gonna make this like a bit transparent because it looks too dark. Mm, it's those decisions you have to make. I mean, you can barely see it when it's there, so I guess it's okay. Maybe I make it even a bit smaller. But you see it when you look at the image for a long, of a, li a little bit longer. So yeah, let's leave this there. So The only thing that doesn't really come out, like here, if you zoom in, you can see it is like the the texture of the building. Maybe for this we can add a bit more of the AO up there, just so to see uh, if that's good actually, if we do that. Um, maybe I'm no switching. Ah, yeah, we wanted to bring in one of the trees in front there, maybe. I'm just checking real quick in bridge. I mean, we can also, I'm also going to show it to you. Um, if I find, or maybe we could just also like put in like those things, like some smaller bushes or something that it adds a bit of like stuff there. Just going to check. Just like this, maybe. Just have to see that the light somehow. Yeah, maybe this something like this could also be nice. Um, I'm going to switch back to Photoshop. Just this. Yeah. I mean, with something like putting something there in the foreground now, as I said, it's like. We really have to see if it works, um, or is it just like too much? Now we already have like the, I don't know what it's called, the beast, the 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 thing that does the tracks, like the, I don't know the English word for it, but like the thing, the thing that makes the slope. I mean, if we now. No, I think I don't like it that that it's there. So, so I guess I'm not really. Maybe if it's smaller and further in the background, it could be nice if it's like. No, I think I just leave. I actually I just leave the foreground like this. I think. The only thing we could do is like if we check back to what uh, the stuff I uh, the stuff I I searched for for this image maybe we can bring that uh, one of the cross country skiers in there was this old guy where is he like this guy maybe could be going somewhere there like where she be like yeah maybe this woman or this old guy let's see oops that's not I mean he could actually yeah Let's put him in there, just that we did something like, or at, le at least like there's one person going on the slope, so. Uh, just gonna do this real quick. Actually, I think here you could also, because it's like, he's so dark and has like, uh, quite clean edges. I think we could also use the wonder stick to brush him out. Let's see. Oops, let's start it here. So just make the mask like 
to see where the slope would go. He could be actually this guy now as we as I put him here and he's already quite in the center. So we, we have to we can put him like exactly in the center. Uh, just that for these things you can like there are different ways I mean this is the center it snapped now or we could also put him in like a third or something so mm. These dark parts you actually should get rid of, I think, because this is just not. Because on the image, I think the sun is coming a bit further from the back, so. Yeah, I actually, I like that he's going there. I just bring. Ah, uh, with Control H, you can turn off and on the help line, so. I think I could I will put him like exactly in the center. Um I also like that he is I mean he's a bit too dark now I guess so I just wanna make him a bit like add uh, a bit more to the highlights and then make him like a bit brighter in general. I'm also gonna take off the darks a bit. As he's so small and maybe also take out like a bit of the saturation. Yeah, I think that's actually quite nice. I mean, he's not, he's like super badly cut out. So I guess I'm, he's gonna do a bit more there. Like at least make the edges look a bit better. He could actually also be a bit big. Yeah, make it small. Pretty small. Good thing is if I put him exactly in the shadow, I don't even have to brush in the shadow. I think we sh need to do the shadow right now because it's like otherwise it probably will look uh, a bit weird. Uh, so for this, I usually just go um, uh, not the roundness, like go to two, I think, because it's pretty long shadows here. So I'm just gonna brush in just pick the color and I'm just gonna brush in like this shadow here. Could be even longer because we can also see like the shadows of the tree being super long. Yeah, I think this guy could be nice. So now I, I what I want to do is like go back a bit to the rendering and adjust this one a bit. I want to bring in a bit more uh, highlights on the roof, I think could be like really really white so I'm just bringing some reflections turning this down and just brushing with them um, just super flat just let's go to 30 and just brush over like this part a bit maybe so it should get brighter in this area now what we could also do is like add a bit of kind of glowiness to it. Oh, we only don't have used the post, so I think like, let's get this to five. Doesn't really work here. Mm, we could in the fi in the top layer just like select and make a new layer and select like the white here. Just copy the whole image, um, select this white part here. So we just do the tile, let's go to 50. Select this white part. Um, yeah, delete the two. Oh, delete this layer. Create a new layer. Uh, gonna put in just white. Then switching to the fill tool. So we have white here, and just like going for. 
blur this and have like a Gaussian blur, maybe like five or something. Then just see a soft light or something. And we have to check if it looks weird or if it doesn't, because if it gets too bright, I think it's just gonna look weird. Which it actually does, I guess. So maybe just leave this away and just add um, maybe again here final adjustments light overall. I'm gonna add like this one spot really bright part in here. It's too bright, I think. Because the sun is hitting somewhere here, so I think we could get away with it. No, no, we could like not 100%. No, I think this doesn't look good, so I'm just gonna leave that away too. We already made the roof brighter with the with the reflection, so I guess this what we did here. It's already getting like really bright there. Um, yeah, so I guess we can leave it like this. Maybe we can, what we could do is like add some sparkles to, um, to the, to the foreground, to the snow, if it works somewhere there. I have this, like, I think I have some brushes like that and where we have like the small dots gonna scale this down so that it's like going to be on the ground and maybe uh, going to white and just put in like some of these so zero a hundred percent just gonna add a bit of texture here and there maybe even make it smaller could get a bit more there where we have like the where we want the eye to look maybe even on the roof we could add some small bright dots uh brighter highlights oh sorry uh, i always forget to switch it's like okay okay uh yeah so what i did is now like i made the uh, thank you for <laughs> for telling me because it's like sometimes I forget to switch around these things. Um, so yeah, I, yeah. Now I switch. Sorry, sorry, Paolo. Now I switch back. Um, yeah, I just uh, added this guy and then uh, just brushing in with like this uh, brush here, some like highlights on the snow with white, uh, hundred percent. I added it a bit more in this part where the roof comes in. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess that's already quite okay. Mm, I actually don't know what I want to do more to the image. I think it's, for me, it's like really calm and nice. We could, what we could do is like, I just made like this flags here which are basically it's just like an olympic flag but with colors so it's just the colors of the continent that you have in the olympic thing which could work for a winter sports arena or something like this mm. but yeah I, as i said like i actually don't know really know what what i should add to the to the image so I think I will just maybe do a bit more adjustments now, maybe even add, like, because in the foreground we don't have an, uh, we don't have yet an, an, an vignette effect, so I'm just gonna add a bit of vignette, I guess, there. In the background we have it from the image already, so. I think on top we will just, like, probably just leave a bit of it gonna go on the soft light thing and turn it down even more yeah I think on top I will just delete it Im totally because we already have it from the from the image um, what else is there I mean we could add a bit more noise I think the building's still a bit clean so I'm just gonna 
Um, just gonna add the uh, add a bit of film grain. I have this filter here, so it's just uh, this action here, so it just adds another layer on top, uh, which is set to overlay. I can show you the layer how it looks. It's just like noise um, that I have there. I think it's a bit blurred, Gaussian blurred. Yeah, yeah, it has, uh, you can see that it's add noise and Gaussian blur over a gray, like 50% 50 per, 50 gray area. Um, and then you overlay it and it just adds like a bit of noise to the image. Um, turn it, I usually turn it like to 30 or something. I mean, in the here in the sky, you can see it quite a lot. Uh, I mean, there was still already noise, but I think it's still okay. It looks okay if we have for maybe we go to 40. Um, then we could also add a bit of the aber chromatic aberration, but I think in this image actually we don't really need it. I think like as we have the foreground already from and photo and the background and also uh, only the images uh, there, but let's see what happens. Um, so I'm just like uh, going a bit to the right and to the left, so now you can see it coming in. The blues are up. Maybe it actually, let's see what happens if I turn it. So it, it just adds like a bit of this red to it. I think uh, this is on set now to 60. I think I turn the whole thing down a bit to, and then get rid of it in the part, in those parts here. Maybe then we can even turn it up to 100. So we have a bit of this chromatic aberration on top. Um, I don't know if we need to do too much color grading on this image. Um, but yeah, so if you have any questions, well, I think this will be the last step for the day. So if you have want to know something or want to add something just let me know oh yeah maybe we could what we could do now in this color grading is like as i saw this right now is the wood could be a bit more red i think this maybe we make a selection for that now so that it's popping out a bit more what does it look nice like this i will just check this now but yeah, if you have some questions uh suggestions let me know mm, I will just finish up this uh, this image now so just selected the wood real quick I'm going to make a layer here for the adjustment this down Yeah, I think it could actually get a bit more saturated. Hmm. I mean, I think now it's a bit too much, so I just turn this to 60. So it's a bit set more saturated, but not too saturated. Um, then I'm going back to the filter suggestions. Maybe we can also think it's getting a bit too red. It should be a bit more yellow, uh, but could be brighter. And also with the yellow, it's uh, making them a bit red. See, and I think those values in an I don't know if I want to adjust them too much as we got them out of the image which should look like of the of the mountain image so I'm not sure if I want to touch that too much maybe just like make it brighter or darker also for the blues it's the same like just keeping it like it was I guess or like pretty close to what it was 
Oh yeah, what I see now is uh, I think like the chromatic aberration. I will turn it down a bit because the trees got like super red. Uh, which I see, like over here, um, if it was one hundred percent. With the chromatic aberration, you have to be really careful because it can, in the end, like uh, mess up the colors depending on what channels you use. So as you can see here, like the red channel is just making this part over here super red. So I'm gonna turn this down to 50, I think. So that it's not really, that it's just like, it's there, but it's not visible, you know. Um, yeah, going back here, the whites, I really like that it's could be a bit yellowish. Like I think it's still quite white. Maybe it could also be a bit darker. Um, we'll go a bit with red. Probably turning down the tones a bit, but that like really less, like maybe two or something. Maybe even going this to six. Then that would be good. Mm, neutrals, I think I will keep mainly like they are. Uh, maybe make them a bit darker. Blacks. It depends if you want it. I, I sometimes don't like the images to be like have too much contrast. Um, some people like that. I usually go a bit like with not too much contrast so i guess i will leave the blacks like they are right now maybe what we could try is make them a bit bluish just turning this up so i don't see if it's yeah it doesn't really change much so let's just go for two and two yeah i guess i will stop here um just gonna bring up the image we started with here um so that's what we started with and that's how it looks now as you can see it was re actually really simple we basically just used like free photos i mean like free photos for the main setup but it changed the image quite a lot and we didn't really adjust the rendering that much so i think if you find uh, i mean i was looking for a lot of i mean i was looking for the photos quite a while i mean not that long it probably was faster than if you would have uh, modeled like the or like uh did the slope and the mountains in 3d i think i searched for them for half an hour and i came up with um a lot of different images i mean they were all as i said like all of them are from fix here and i mean those uh, some of them are my own like that i took but um so if you just have like a lot of stuff there i think you can easily um like just come up with ideas also if you just search i also thought of putting in like those guys or like something like snow mobile mobile mobiles and stuff like this so if you have all this you can also try out in the process of the image creation what you're gonna do maybe also i was thinking about what those guys just going from the left to the right and keeping the rest really simple um yeah there are a lot also a lot of ideas that you can get while you're searching for maybe just the references for light which i did in the beginning i was just like looking at uh, as i showed in the beginning for like references okay how would alps the alps look like during the day during sunset during morning so and then i already saw like other photos like if you for example this have this image maybe you see like okay you just have some tracks in the front and the rest is like super calm or yeah so stuff like this could be could also get a reference like or like an, a foggy more like uh, foggy image or like uh, not like super bright image could also work and stuff like this and then you can try it out in 3d what happens um or just like i also like this as a foreground in the beginning because it's just like really calm if you think if you get rid of the background 
to just say or like the top part this could also be a perfect foreground to have like a super calm image and yeah or like some tracks i was thinking about a lot of stuff or i also love that this guy is playing ice hockey this could also be like somewhere in the foreground so i guess you always have to think or like look at a lot of images if you do an if you do an image and then you can maybe find some ideas and stuff so yeah yeah um so yeah but i i didn't think of this particular setup when i started i just think now it works really well with the curve like leading you from um uh leading the eye from the from from the foreground actually on the track to the building it's actually quite nice i mean i like it i don't know if someone else also thinks the same but i like that you come in here like have this leading uh, leading you to the mi for middle also this ground leads you like to here and then we have the uh the guy standing there in the in the center of the image and also like this kind of eye in the middle so i think the composition is not the worst i would say yeah and also like what i really like is that you have this darker part here and you could really see like this like this white area here comes out super well i think like catching also catching the eye quite a lot even if you zoom out you have like this part really really visible so that's uh, i really like that um yeah i guess that's it for today so i'm just gonna for the end i'm gonna just show like the layover as you could see like also here it's a bit more cyan we have now a bit warmer colors like uh cooler blues but like uh warmer warmer whites i would say oh, also war like more like desaturated blues not like the cyan type blues um yeah so i guess uh thank you for watching and yeah if you don't have any questions i will stop the stream now and yeah as usual like if you have any questions just send them to us on instagram or facebook or wherever um yeah i hope you liked it and see you next time thank you bye bye